Resident Evil vs. Silent Hill. That's a lie, PT isn't a Silent Hill game as much as The Beginning Hour is a Resident Evil game. Technically, these are just promotional tools used by the developers to get the fans hyped and in the best case convince them to pre-order the game. An effective tool, not unheard of as demos have been used to promote games for a long time. But this new form of interactive teaser is something different. To my knowledge, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong here. Okay, so let's get into it. We'll start off with PT, short for playable teaser released in 2014 by Kojima Productions. It was a first person horror interactive teaser for the now cancelled Silent Hills game. A mystery, it had no obvious link to Silent Hill, Konami or Hideo Kojima. Only after completing the game was it revealed to be a teaser for Silent Hills, blowing fans minds and spreading like wildfire over the internet. When Silent Hills was later cancelled, PT then was removed from the PlayStation Store, so now it's almost impossible to give it a try if you haven't played it previously. So the game starts with the player waking up on the floor in a concrete room that has nothing in it but an ominous door that has just opened slightly, inviting the player into the madness that is soon to follow. Going through the door leads the player into a hallway. The player is then able to wander around and look at their surroundings, which appear to be a suburban home. At the end of the hallway, a radio plays a news report of mysterious and gruesome murders that had occurred. Once the report is done, the only door the player can go through is at the bottom of a staircase. Going through the door leads the player into a hallway. The player is then able to wander around and look at their surroundings, which appear to be a suburban home. Wait, something is wrong. That's right! We're stuck in a hellish nightmare! By going through that door, we are introduced to the main mechanic of this game, the never-ending hallway. To progress, the player has to solve cryptic puzzles and go through set events in the game. Once that is done, the players move to a new loop which changes the hallway, also bringing a new set of puzzles and events for the player to go through. Another thing, the player is not alone in this nightmare. The house is haunted. To make things even scarier, there is an actual ghost that the player can encounter while playing the game. She happens to catch you, your reward is you guessed it, a jump scare. Exactly what you feared would happen while playing this game actually happens. She then sends you back to the start of the current loop you are in. If all that sounds kind of confusing, well that's because it is. It's hard enough explaining it, it's something that you really understand while playing it, or for the faint hearted watch somebody else play it during the day in a brightly lit room. After you've suffered through the experience and solved all the puzzles, including some ridiculous puzzles at the end, I won't go into it here but if you are curious, watch a complete playthrough on YouTube and see what needs to be done to complete the game to get the secret ending, you unlock a cutscene, revealing the involvement of Norman Reedus as the main character, being directed by Hideo Kojima and Guillermo del Toro, is an upcoming game called Silent Hills. PT is on a whole other level of scary. The tension that builds while playing the game, unable to guess when something is or isn't going to happen, so every time you turn around or go through a door, part of you expects something to happen, and then is slightly relieved when nothing does happen, but the tension built before that moment is enough to make you terrified. The game relying not on gruesome gore, but uses your own imagination to creep yourself out. The objective of the game is to get out of the house, but not because the game instructs you in text when you start, it leads you to figure out that for yourself. Feel like you need to get out of this nightmare, the house doesn't feel welcoming, also the ghost that haunts you isn't very friendly, so the of urgency to escape increases. Each loop has a puzzle of some kind. Puzzles require the player to look at a certain something, and for the only kind of interaction that can be done in the game, it is used to great effect. For such a simple action to be the only one a player can use in a game was used in the best way to make the puzzles just as scary as the atmosphere they built in the environment of the game. It's only the set of tasks that need to be done at the end of the game when things get ridiculous. And I think that is the main reason why fans spent weeks after beginning hours release trying to figure out the goose for that dubby figure, but we'll get to that soon enough. Scary as shit, PT is a horror game on its own, winning itself awards for scariest game and described as the new king of horror, visually looks amazing and it's a shame we won't get to see this project completed. That's it for the first part of this video, I had so much to say on these teasers this ended up being a two parter. For the beginning hour slash Resident Evil side of things go to the next video most likely linked below. I'm sure I would have gotten that done. I'm lying, I definitely would have gotten that done. Go ahead and check it out. 
I heard somebody said it was cool. Not by me, of course. What are you still doing here? This bit had obviously ended. You should totally just click on that link to the next video. Wow, kind of weird that you're still here. Here's a picture of a dog catching his own tail. Congrats.